Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jonathan Waterworth and in this video I'm going to show you how to rough in your designs in Adobe Illustrator and get that vintage feel on them. Let's, let's jump into Illustrator. Okay, jumping into Illustrator now. So, I'm going to be showing you how I get this kind of effect in my designs. This rough, feels a bit vintage um, kind of design. Just, um, I think it makes them look nicer in the end instead of just having the real clean cut letter forms. If you're going for more of a rustic distress design or if you're kind of trying to make something a bit worn, um, yeah, this is a good way to do it. So this is a font I made. This is my first font I ever made actually. Um, and this is the way I used to make it. So the way I used to make it is I have it as N, but if you come down here to the pencil tool, I went through all these letters when I first made them and I would cut them out like this and I'd just keep going to get this effect. I'd come to the corners and all the corners, I'd round them, I'd just keep going with that kind of thing and it took a really long time to get it all because I had to do all the alphabet, all the numbers, everything in a font. So then I found a much better way to do it that I'll show you now, which is super quick. So here's another font. Um, and just a quick lock up. So this is so fast. So what you want to do is you want to select everything. If it's a font, you want to make sure that you, um, it's all expanded. So come up here, expand appearance, and then object, expand, object fill, make sure that's all okay. And now that it's all outlines, you come up to effect, you want to come down to distort and transform, and you want to come down to roughen. It's going to be looking a bit crazy at first, but you kind of just work it out from here. So you have to do a bit of playing around. It matters what you're looking for as well, but what I suggest is you change to absolute and then you change to smooth. And then the higher the number here is that it will just start going wild. But what we're looking for today, is kind of depending on the size as well, but kind of the one to two really. And then this one is just what you're feeling for really. If you want, something really crazy, just keep bumping it up. But I normally, a two and a seven or an eight's not bad actually. Maybe a two and eight we'll try today. You can always do it again. You can always just undo and do it again. So for that, that's looking pretty good. I'd be pretty happy with that. So now it's just got all these bumps and it just feels nice and distressed. It feels like it's worn and aged. So that's a, it's a good way. So just showing you kind of what it does to just a shape. So the way I used to do it with what I was saying was you'd come down, pencil tool, you'd try to cut everything out like this and you just keep going. You know, if you wanted to round this corner, if you want to go down here, make a big one. But then if we just do what I was showing you, so come up, effect, distort and transform, roughen, bring it down so it's not too crazy. Two and Let's go, uh, let's go 2 and 11 actually. And what's interesting actually, so now we have all these bumps on the edge, but if you want to change the shape, so say you want to change it to a circle, or you want to round all these corners at once, it still will stay, this effect will still be applied to it. So if you want to make any bigger things, so just say for example that, oh, you actually, you want to make them a bit bigger. You could do the other thing I was saying with pencil tool and combine them together and then make some bigger indents. And the bigger indents will be there, but they'll still be roughened as well. So it's a good tool if you want to combine both of them. You can also do this um, in illustrations. So this is just a lockup that I did, just nice hand, you know, some put it on a t-shirt, um, print it onto a bag or something. So you can do this for all of this. So we'll come down because it's text again, you'll want to come up to go object, expand appearance, and then expand, yes, and zoom. I recommend kind of zooming in a little bit closer, then you can kind of see it as you're going with it, um, just to kind of get an idea. And then we want to affect, distort and roughen, distort and transform, sorry, and then roughen. Looks wild. <laughs> Let's go absolute, smooth. Let's come down to, let's say three and Three and let's go three and nine. 
And now this will make it, it's a bit wacky on the side. That's something you have to be careful of as well is that if you're doing different shapes and you do them all at the same time, it will apply the same effect on everything. So maybe let's actually, let's just say you don't like that. So say for example, I'm not actually happy with this. You just undo, um, command Z, and then do it all again. And then just same thing, distort and roughen, and then absolute, and then bring it down. So let's actually, let's just give it a slight roughen this time. Uh, let's do a 10, still one and a 10. So that'll just be kind of like a slight, just a slight kind of bump around it. Yeah, it's not bad. So now everything's just gonna have these nice rough edges. All the front's gonna look a bit wacky and just a bit worn out. This looks a bit crazy. Yep, that all looks good. Yep. And then if you're happy with that. It's just slight as well. Like if you look at it from really far, you wouldn't be able to tell, but when you care about this little detail, it looks quite nice. Because if you compare it to what it did look like before this one, very smooth edges, looks a bit smooth, doesn't really look hand drawn or anything. And then if you do give it this rough and effect, it kind of does look a bit more handmade kind of feel to it. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. If you want to see other of my works, look in the description. I'll have my Instagram and other places that I post. If you enjoyed the video today, please give it a like. If you want to see more content from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to have lots more graphic design tutorials, things to do with lettering, lots of design related stuff coming up. Or if there's a video you want to see from me, pop it down in the comments below and I'll check it out. Anyways, thanks guys. Until next time.